word? Hospitable. Inhospitable. Climate. So much so that look what Perry's got to wear. The latest fashion. It's no joke, this. <laughs> it's just billions of flies at your alt. It's 37 degrees. It is just short of 100 Fahrenheit. They won't get much sun tan on them, will they? Them round pool, everybody round pool's got a net on. Yep. Wait till you see me and mine. See, some birthing in nets. <laughs> well, they'll be landing on lens in a minute. There's tons of them. There's no climbers.
still looks like they're like it. it does, yeah. Desert Gardens Hotel. Under the eucalyptus trees. Is it warm enough? So it's a bit, a bit chilly to get in.
going to go for a bush picnic, a picnic in the bush, but because of the flies, we've decided to come into the... less flies. Lots of flies about though. Look at them, so we're next one. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can pop some more than that. Yeah, we can pop out just to save two dollars a pint. And that in the outback. Well, you got some cones. from our hotel. Oh, you'll have to stop getting that false tan jam. Look how it's going. It's all washing away. Yeah, but <laughs> it's sand really. I had to do that to oh, find look, this. That's Ayers Rock. It's a replica of Ayers Rock from Ayers Rock. And it'll go on Lee's Bonsai Garden. Oh, that's all Whopper. Oh, there. Let's see if we can tickle them out. A snake or something. <laughs> oh, I just swallowed a flying bastard. That one. In fact, spit it out. No, it's not coming out to play. Guys, just can't get away from them. <laughs> Millions of them. Architecture of these grasses are really weird. The uh, sort of green on the outside and the day in the middle. Another nice piece of architecture. And they won't come out, the other little buggers. That's 400 miles to Alice Springs, I think. And you can't buy anything except from here, and it's a rip-off. So they've got you by the short and curlies. I just had a bag of chips with gravy, and it cost me three quid. But Janet's been to the supermarket. How much were them grapes? I bet they were a fiver. Um. Eight dollars something, water, yeah. coke and grapes. 
the big arches. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. We can't allow you to take photos. It's ugly, this little, uh, this little house with it. Uh, that one's dead. Ants are already up on it. Right, we've got a two and a half hour flight uh, to Queensland, we're to Cairns next. Hopefully we'll, uh, we might even get up to Cookstown, but we'll definitely be going to Port Douglas, uh, to Dunk Island, on Great Barrier Reef. Well, we arrived late from uh, Ayers Rock last night. You said you didn't kill them. I don't know, bro, but this is the room, is it? The books? You have a little bumps here, and it's like a steam bath, it's like a sauna. Oh. Yeah, it's only 10 at night, but... And it's been raining all night, it's not raining now. And that's our neighbours. Uh, the Cairns Museum, School of Arts, lands on here, that's down to the front, great map of Queensland, Cairns, Esplade, front, the sea's behind there somewhere. Outrigger. Join yourself. Where are we? We find the road into Cairns. Cairns, Esplanade, the Lagoon. What day is it? In your own Barbie. Yeah, free swimming pools. It's Friday. <laughs> Well, you've got a uh, barbecue, do your own barbecuing, free gas. All the lads there got a lot of sausages on. Today's weather report. 32 max, 25 min. It's about 30 at the moment. Helicopter comes right in. Going out for 
a little sightseeing tour. Tide is out. dragging itself along but it's packed in now. Oh no, it's moving a bit. Big tour de race on tonight. 7.30. Might go. And then there's a world famous gong show, whatever that is. See, I'm dry because I brought my brolly all the way from China. And Janet's soaking wet through. Why you? He's got to use it free barbecue. He's got a Better just video this rain because it might never rain again. Every day. <laughs> right, we're going to enter this competition tonight because that's where we're dining. Oh, is it? Mr. and Mrs. Backpacker. Outrageous dancing at the wool shed. Just hire uh, the car hire, hire in the car, and uh, we're taking that one. Automatic, air conditioned. Uh, how much is it? It's thirty-nine dollars a day. It's Forty. That's twenty quid a day. It's taking all our money off us. Mine just gives a good daily. Not a bad lad, really. I've got the credit card. <laughs> <laughs> right, back to our shed. For an aperitif before we go out. I could stay at this place. That's right. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? It's filthy. It's absolutely it's disgusting. It stinks, forest. Look, there's even bloody rat. See down there, that's uh, rat traps in that oil there. Give it up, There's rat uh, rat stuff down there, John. That infested bloody uh, shed. Actually, Perry did say, I'm glad you picked this one from NFR. Yeah. Dormitory, she said. 20 past midnight, you haven't got a choice. Yeah, oh, it's absolutely crap. Hello, folks. There we are having a free backpacker meal. Free with us hostel. Chicken and potatoes, spare ribs. In the wool shed restaurant. Oh, it's all a bit dark now. Yeah. It's going to get lively in here though. It's only just tea time. Yes, and there it is from outside. She's got best, she's got best seat in house, but she wants to go watching toad racing. Hey, stop drinking my beer! Look at this shop here. Opals for five dollars. Oh, you, you can't get at them when it's that crowded. Yeah, Oh, yeah, that's a real I'm joke. famous. That's getting famous. That's worth $5. <laughs> <laughs> Tow, right? yeah, they're all gay toads tonight, right? There's 
we had that game in Lutheran and Mardi Gras on Saturday night, last Saturday night in Sydney. We've got all the gay toe draw here. So you can leash yourself a you can leash yourself a toad. If your toad wins the race, it goes into the grand final. She's also arrested for a friend taking too long with a digital camera. Put the lid on! Bloody hell! Drill! Yes! She's about to jump for the first event. The winner goes through to the grand final. The grand final night is called the bloody uh, Australian Weeboard sponsored grand final. <laughs> when we go 3, 2, 1, right, you just lift this up, right, lift it up and piss off back to Newcastle, right, because you'll get trampled, all right? Okay, so just wait for it. We'll have a little practice first. All it is is three, two, one, toe race, all right? That's Here easy as that. Race number one, ladies and gentlemen, for female toad, seeing that it was the International Women's Day a couple of days ago. Did you know that? International Women's Day on Wednesday. Did you get a bit on that, Wednesday? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, number one is Eric, number two is Big Eye, number three is Speedy, number four is Lucky. Number five is Aka. <laughs> number four, Aka. Number five is Aka. Number six is US of A, number one. Num How can it be number one? Number one's number one, all right? Number seven is Spike. And number eight, eh? Japan! Okay, now away they go, ladies and gentlemen, on the outside and back behind them, down the back straight they go, and it's a big eye. Come on, come on! Typical women, all right? Do nothing, right? Back in the kitchen, right? Whoa, there they go. Oh, number eight! Number eight from Japan, ladies and gentlemen! Asuko! Number eight, all right? Okay, Greg Wade has been told that you shouldn't even be given this team. It's worth a fortune. Australian pounds, Australian pounds, like, how can I say, I'll miss you when you won't piss off and leave, right? Good. What about this one? Bert Newton says this one. Get your tongue out of your mouth, Grandma, I'm only fishing you goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, please, once again, thank the lovely Isabel. Six Kato Queen. And what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll uh, get you to help us uh, do the presentation. The trade business is it hell, right? Okay, are all the toads in? I think they are, aren't they? Well done, yeah, you can't see down there. You can do what you can take that off. Get it all off if you like. Right? Okay, they're all out in, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, they're all out in there just about to jump like ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, for the second race of the Kato Queen. Yeah, 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 Not Falcon for sale. Very economic and factual, yeah. It's a three month head chroming with it. $1,800. That's, uh, what's that, five, 900 quid. I need to sell it now, only a thousand dollars. I've got Perry a job. <coughs> Bit of bullshit. Beef slaughtering. Late night market, seven dollar plate, put on it what you want. Prawns, oh there's everything on there. Can't begin to describe it, can you? Beef, prawns, chicken. Then Chinese, Chinese joint. Stop itself. Tons of it. In late night market. If he's got shits, you can't drive tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's busy down the front on the night. Oh, you don't want to eat again, do you? Where's Rattle and Hum? Oh, that's where we had breakfast. The map of York is knob. And that's where Yorkie were growing his pumpkins originally on that plane there. Welcome to Yorkie's Knob. Yeah, well, so cool because a Yorkshire fella in uh, 1860, he was a right character by all accounts, and he started uh, a pumpkin farm to everybody's amazement. <laughs> No shops, no Blackpool Rock, loads of little apartments. Yeah, and there's just one little tea shop where Janet's going for a cup of tea. There we are, there's a bit of sun anyway. Yes, that's the nets to keep the sharks out. Paragliding boat. They're off. That's Yorkie's knob.
of little skinks around here. Information at the lifeguard station and uh, look at the today's UV ratings. Extreme and Janet's been in it about two and a half hours. Bob Cove, <laughs> Gale. Somebody's trying to get married over there. Trying to get married. Here comes the bride, all dressed in white. Kangaroo steak. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Captain Cook, yeah. We're on the Captain Cook Highway, and there he is. Old peg leg. And, uh, I'm waiting for a kangaroo steak. If you're waiting for a what? Seafood salad. Oh, there we are. Look, it's so jumping. It's hopping off a plate already. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's that? Bear grubs? Bear bugs? Yeah. Uh, well, it's a seafood salad. And that's kangaroo. Lovely red meat. Yeah, Janet's insisted that we upgrade, so we're going to put in. Is this a bit more like it, Claire? Yeah, and we've hired the car. Yeah, we'll just uh, get this out to you. Janet, collecting coconuts. Be careful around here, they don't land on your head. Oh, right. But, if you do get bit... Well, stingers, some vinegar. Vinegar to counter that with sting from the jellyfish. It's good of them, isn't it? Yeah. Well, let's have a look at this, this beach down there. It's supposed to be a three mile beach. This is short sink, isn't it? Nine dollars a room. That'll do. Let's try. Yeah, sound. We're booked in. Port Douglas Motel, number uh, seven, which is down there, down the corridor somewhere. It's supposed to be a little swimming pool. Oh yeah, it's a decent restaurant. We're just round corner, about 30 yards. That'll do. And most important is what they call uh, a bottle shop, our off licence is called a bottle shop and there's the bottle shop that's all we need it's a 
chance had in straight there for a bottle of white wine. Oh yeah, that's the first place to uh, head for. The Iron Bar. different stations on Sally everybody's yakking there's a band on upstairs a load of diners through there we're on internet over there uh, yes Mel who suggested going to Port Douglas and the Iron Bar look at the bleeding weather it hasn't <laughs> stopped raining since we got here hey. <laughs> uh, We've had a meal in there anyway, meal were okay. It's quarter to twelve. Quarter to twelve, second half, Chelsea versus. Right, well, there we are at uh, Port Douglas, Sunday Market. And it's a bit of a washout. As you can see from the puddlometer, it's still raining. Tracks get starting to get muddy. Janet's in Bangle and Bead. You're alright, mate. Janet's in Bangles and Bead somewhere. Ah, oh, there she is. Brilliant fine apples. Oh my god. Don't know what they are. I think they're bread fruits. Okay. Underneath the banyan tree. I'm reading, look, they've got bull shitters everywhere, haven't they? St. Mary's is having a bit of a sing song. Well, it is Sunday. They must be only after reef fish. Which is very nice. Hog's breath, another one for Liam Mel. They seem to like that place when it was in its swing. A rainy Sunday. Not much happening. That's what you call the sculpture drill. Are they underwater or overwater? That must be uh, some of the take you out on. What birds seem to like it? Some. Oh, yeah, that's right, I'm here for it. Uh, well, 
five cents and see if you can land one up. What's this local game then? Five cents. Got to ramp it up there. If you land it up top of that post, it says up there, you can get a free meal in that restaurant over there. Go on then, because you, you do a meal, aren't you? Let's go get the free meal now. Okay. I've heard you. Get a foot line, okay. How's that? Disappointed with me, she's uh, one of the right up to the trees, so all the sand's wet through the debris. This is Kua Beach, it's too windy and dull for Janet, she's having a little sleeping chair. And the cat weren't there really, because <laughs> this one's worse than the other. And there we are at Mowbray River. Crocodile country round here. Just driven over this bridge. I'm sure that's all too correct. I thought it was over there somewhere. Bloody hell, I can't believe it's sunshining. So that's off to our favourite pub. 